Denmark has taken one of the most significant defense steps in Northern Europe in recent years, transforming its interim, borrowed air defense posture into a permanent, sovereign, multi-layered shield built on modern European and NATO-compatible systems. Copenhagen is moving forward with the acquisition of several ground-based air defense batteries, including NASAMS, Iris TSLM, MICA VL, and Long Range SAMP T. Together, these systems form the backbone of a national architecture designed to operate continuously in an environment dominated by drones, cruise missiles, precision guided munitions, and advanced aircraft. This decision marks a clean break with the temporary leasing model introduced after the intensification of Russian aggression in the region. Instead of depending on partner systems to cover urgent gaps, Denmark is committing to its own enduring capability, complete with domestic infrastructure, trained crews, and long-term logistical support. It is a shift from ad hoc protection to institutionalized readiness. At the core of the new posture is a layered concept of defense. NASAMS offers a flexible, combat-proven medium-range solution capable of defending critical infrastructure, bases and urban areas through distributed launchers and modern sensors. Iris TSLM, optimized for engaging agile, low-flying targets, brings high precision against cruise missiles and unmanned aerial systems. MICA VL adds another versatile layer with both radar and infrared seekers, allowing simultaneous engagements and complicating any attempt to saturate the system with mixed threats. Above them stand SAMP T, forming the long range pillar of Denmark's shield. With its advanced interceptor missiles, it is engineered to counter sophisticated airborne threats and certain types of ballistic missiles, while integrating smoothly into broader alliance command and control frameworks. For a country that controls key approaches to the Baltic Sea and hosts crucial transit routes for NATO, this extended coverage is not a luxury but a strategic necessity. The implications of this move are multidimensional. First, Denmark firmly embeds itself in a wider European and transatlantic air defense network. By opting for widely used systems, it ensures compatibility in data sharing, target tracking and joint operations. Danish sensors and interceptors can be meshed into regional architectures, reinforcing collective protection over the Baltic and North Sea corridors. Second, the choice reflects political seriousness. Leasing is temporary by design, full procurement signals long-term intent. Denmark is investing not only in hardware, but in training institutions, maintenance capacity, and doctrinal development. This sends a clear message to allies that Danish airspace will be reliably defended, and to potential adversaries that attempts at intimidation will meet a resilient, modern air defense grid. Third, the structure is future-ready. Recent conflicts have shown how quickly cheap drones, loitering munitions and complex missile salvos can overwhelm outdated systems. By combining different interceptors, sensors and engagement ranges, Denmark avoids dependence on a single missile family and creates room to integrate new effectors, counter-drone technologies and software upgrades as threats evolve. The architecture is modular, scalable and adaptable rather than frozen in today's configuration. There is also a strategic industrial angle. By blending systems from leading European and transatlantic manufacturers, Denmark diversifies supply chains and strengthens its role inside both European and NATO defense ecosystems. This balance reduces vulnerability to political pressure or export bottlenecks from any single source while deepening ties with key partners. Regionally, a fully implemented Danish layer GBAD posture changes the calculus. It enhances protection of ports, energy facilities, offshore infrastructure, logistics hubs and air routes that would be priority targets in any crisis around the Baltic or Arctic. It helps shield allied forces deploying through Denmark and reinforces the credibility of deterrence on NATO's northern flank. Ultimately, Denmark is turning lessons from today's wars into concrete capabilities instead of declarative statements. Once these systems are fully integrated, Danish skies will no longer depend on borrowed umbrellas. They will be guarded by a permanent, high-end, interoperable shield built to withstand both modern missile barrages and the next generation of unmanned threats, 
and that fundamentally reshapes the air defense landscape of Northern Europe.